Press the Escape button until you are at the Summary screen with Charge, Load, Voltage In, Voltage Out. Make a note of the charge percentage and runtime available from this screen. Once you have these values documented, press the Escape button to return to the main menu. Select the Control menu and press the Enter key. Next, scroll down to the option Do Self-Test and press the Enter key. You will need to confirm you want to run the test by scrolling to the option Yes with the up and down arrow keys, Do Self-Test and then hit Enter. The test will run for one minute. While the test is running, press the Escape button until you return to the main menu. Using the arrow keys, scroll to the Status menu and press the Enter key. Next, using the down arrow key, scroll down through the Status menu until you see the Battery Voltages option. There will be two options in this menu, Nominal and Actual Battery Voltage. The actual battery voltage will be dropping. Make a note of the lowest value reached before that number starts going back up again. Strong batteries will hover around the 192 volt range, which is the nominal voltage. As they get older and weaker, this value will go down. As you can see, our batteries are in the mid 180 volt range, indicating that they are getting weak. Batteries approaching the low 170 volt range will need to be replaced as soon as possible to avoid little to no capacity while on battery. When the test is complete, the on battery LED will go out. Press the escape button a couple of times to return to the summary screen. Compare the charge percentage and runtime to your initial observations. Large discrepancies are also an indication of weak batteries. Also note that for a one minute test, it is not uncommon to see the runtime drop more than one minute. A large drop is a sign that your batteries are losing capacity and you should consider replacing them in the near future.